Hi friends, welcome to Bioblog. If you like this channel, please subscribe, share and like. Today we are going to discuss the second part of bacteriology, Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus in the first part of the class. We will the part of the part of the part of the Pathogenicity. Pathogenicity is the ability of an organism to cause different types of diseases. So, Staphylococcus aureus is an important pyogenic organism. Pyogenic organisms means the organism that produce pus. Pus related infections produce in organism pyogenic organism. So, the lesions are localized in nature and spreading type. Lesions are spreading in a type of localized. It forms thick creamy pus. The disease caused by Staphylococcus aureus are divided into two. First one is known as superficial and deep infections. Second one is known as toxin mediated diseases. What is known as superficial and deep infections? In the case of superficial and deep infections, the first infection is skin infection. The skin infections forming folliculitis boils, impetigo, carbuncles, styes, pemphigus, neurotorum, wounds and burns infections. For the medical terms, medical terms medical terms examine the definition the second one respiratory infections, respiratory infection forming tonsillitis, pharyngitis, sinusitis, otitis, bronchopneumonia, lung abscess and embyema. Then central nervous system infections forming meningitis, brain abscess, intracranial thrombophlebitis. Endovascular infections forming bacteremia, septicemia, pyemia, endocarditis and pericarditis. It also causes urinary tract infections like uh, uh, diabetes, etc. Then musculoskeletal infections like uh, osteomyelitis, arthritis, bursitis, pyomyositis. These are the main types of infections caused by Staphylococcus aureus. Then second one, toxin-mediated diseases. Toxin-mediated. What are the different types of toxin-mediated diseases? produced by Staphylococcus aureus first one food poisoning second one Staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome is very very important then third one toxic shock syndrome this is also important so three types of diseases are formed by toxin mediated diseases caused by Staphylococcus aureus first one food poisoning second one Staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome third one toxic shock syndrome first one food poisoning Food poisoning is caused by a toxin type food poisoning characterized by nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. These are the symptoms of food poisoning. The symptoms appear 2 to 6 hours after ingestion of contaminated with preformed toxin. Food contaminated with preformed toxin. If the food is preformly contaminated with toxins, the symptoms are appear after 2 to 6 hours. The type of food responsible for it is are meat, fish, milk and milk products etc are the types of food responsible for food poisoning. These foods are left at room temperature after contamination with the Staphylococcus aureus are enough time for toxin to accumulate. Source of infection is usually the person who handle food and is a carrier. About uh, meat, fish, milk, milk products side la food na ni ka asoong kaariyat veera. Abo cooke idh thala food dil room temperature le vechi staphylococcus so aureus hoyi. Contamination mandha le na mukhi infections veera. Aare ana handle food infection unda kai chale food handle sana alagil. Uh, food handle sana carry na itu veer na. So these are the main areas covering food poisoning disease. Aya the kind of symptoms nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. 
then staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome it is an exfoliative skin disease in which outer layer of epidermis gets separated from underlying tissue but the mumba namal discuss cheyidana or skin disorder aanu skin and tissue okke adarnu poyirunna or asugam aanu staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome the severe form of staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome is known as ritter's disease that is occur in newborn babies and toxic epidermal necrolysis are formed in adults and others are pemphigus neonatorum and bullus impetigo then toxic shock syndrome it is a multi system illness characterized by the symptoms like fever headache congestion congenital reddening subcutaneous edema vomiting diarrhea dust formation of hands and feet the progressing to acute renal failure disseminated intravascular coagulation hypotensive shock and finally death these are the symptoms of toxic shock syndrome disease then what are the laboratory diagnosis of staphylococcus aureus what are the specimen to be collected for the identification of staphylococcus aureus first one pus from pyogenic lesion we already said that this is a pyogenic infection or pus related infection so the first sample to be pus from pyogenic lesions second one cerebro spinal fluid in the case of meningitis then blood is collected in the case of septicemia then vomitus or fecus is collected in the case of food poisoning from the food then urine is collected in the case of urinary tract infection then sputum is collected in the case of respiratory infection sense then collection sample is collected in a sterile container by using standard procedures namal already parnittunde collection and transport of clinical specimen to the laboratory nallathu appa standard procedure ubhayichittana namal specimen collect cheyyanathu the transported specimen to be immediately transported to the laboratory the processing of specimen by using microscopic examinations wet preparation of liquid specimen forming uh, pascals the gram staining performing gram staining we can get gram positive cocci in groups then culture specimen is routinely inoculated on blood agar and when staphylococci are suspected to be scanty or outnumbered by other bacteria example swab from caries or fecus from food poisoning specimen also to be inoculated on selective media such as salt milk agar mantol salt agar ludlum media then the specimen to be incubated overnight the typical staphylococcal coordinates are processed further for identification and confirmation by gram staining and biochemical reactions appo blood agar la namu sadharanayittu kalichu irunnathu ini adu allengil namu specialized aayittulla media illa salt milk agar mantol salt agar ludlum media ingane ulla medias ilakke namu endu cheyarnde kalichu cheyarnde endittu incubated in overnight then antibiotic sensitive testing it is the it is an important test used in the laboratory diagnosis of uh, staphylococcus aureus or each and every bacteria we can done antibiotic sensitive test by kirby boyer disc diffusion methods the antibiotics used are penicillin cefoxitin gentamicin erythromycin clindamycin tetracycline cotrimoxazole vancomycin etc these are the main types of antibiotics used in the case of staphylococcus aureus infection then treatment this is the last step of the uh, organism treatment what are the treatment strategies adopted for staphylococcus aureus treatment should always guided by antibiotic sensitivity testing because of the problem of drug resistance phenomena in staphylococcus aureus what is known as drug resistance phenomena certain antibiotics are to be resisted by the organism the organism resist against certain antibiotics mild tropical lesions are treated with bezetracin bezetracin is the treatment uh, strategy for mild tropical lesions then benzyl penicillin erythromycin oxazacin vancomycin etc are commonly used as antibiotic for the treatment of staphylococcus aureus what are the 
common used antibiotics for the treatment of Staphylococcus aureus, penicillin, erythromycin, oxazilin, vancomycin, etc. Then penicillin producing Staphylococcus aureus are treated with erythromycin, methicillin and cloxacillin. So uh, certain sp species, certain strains are penicillin producing. So these antibiotics, these Staphylococcus aureus are treated by using the drugs like erythromycin, methicillin and cloxacillin. Then methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus are treated with uh, vancomycin, MRSA. MRSA means methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Methicillin and the one antibiotic in a resistant in the Staphylococcus aureus and we treat in you know, the vancomycin and the one antibiotic will be done. These are the main topics to be covered in the treatment of Staphylococcus aureus. So thank you. Our topic is over. If you like this channel, please share, subscribe and 